In 2008, a young man, freshly graduated from university, was eager to make the most out of life. Besides the typical parties and entertainments, he had a true passion for travelling. Instead of luxurious resorts, he preferred to travel alone, appreciating the daily lives of ordinary people in villages and connecting with wildlife. He avoided trains and planes, opting for his prized SUV, a gift from his father. Like any powerful SUV, his car seemed to beg to be pushed to the limit, speeding along endless roads. One day, he was speeding down a straight road surrounded by a dense forest. The road was deserted, and he enjoyed the drive and the scenery out the window. There was no one for dozens of kilometers around, just him, the road, the trees, and the vast sky. The weather was cloudy, and a storm was approaching. He turned up the volume of the music in the car as it began to rain. Although the road was slippery, he felt confident driving the maneuverable SUV on the wet asphalt. Then, something unexpected happened, an animal with horns jumped from the forest onto the road. It was probably a deer, but he didn't have time to identify it. He tried to swerve quickly, but the collision was inevitable. He turned the wheel sharply to one side, crashing at full speed into a tree beside the road. The impact was so strong that he lost consciousness. When he woke up, he was lying in a clean bed, wearing clean clothes, in an unfamiliar place. He realized he was not in a hospital, but in a village house. The simple decor indicated that the inhabitants had lived there for a long time, with no extravagances, just the essentials. He remained lying down for a while, observing the curtains on the windows, until an elderly man entered the room. Seeing that he had regained consciousness, the man smiled, satisfied that he was awake. He approached, asked how he felt, and gave him some water. Then, he asked what he remembered about the accident. Unfortunately, the young man couldn't remember anything after crashing into the tree, nor did he know how he had gotten there. He was confused about the house he found himself in. The old man then recounted how everything had happened. The story of his rescue began two years earlier, in 2006. The owner of the house, who had helped him, was a forest ranger who had lived there for a long time and knew the surrounding forest well. During one of his patrols, he heard a roar coming from the bushes. Carefully parting the branches, he came upon a terrible scene, the body of a bear lay sprawled on the grass. She had been shot by hunters, managed to escape the pursuit, but did not survive the wound. Next to her, a small bear cub trembled, nudging his mother with his nose and roaring desperately, trying to wake her. When he saw the man, the cub hid behind his mother's body, looking at him with pleading eyes. The ranger felt sorry for the poor frightened animal and decided to take him home. He instructed his wife on how to care for the cub, providing him with food and water, while they decided what to do with him. Time passed, and the bear grew and continued living in the ranger's house with his wife. Despite his formidable appearance, the bear was quite friendly, treating people who came in peace well. They didn't keep him confined and even let him wander through the forest, but the bear always returned home, preferring not to live alone in the wild. On the day of the accident, the bear was walking through the forest looking for something to eat when he heard the sharp, high-pitched sound of a car crashing into a tree. Curious, he followed the sound and found the young man lying on the ground, unconscious and injured. The bear, seemingly determined to help, gently grabbed the young man by the collar of his clothes with his teeth and slowly dragged him to the ranger's house. Meanwhile, the ranger himself was beginning to worry about his furry friend, who normally would have already returned from his walk. He was concerned that something had happened in the forest when, suddenly, he spotted the bear on the horizon. He wasn't moving as usual. Looking more closely, the ranger realized that the bear was dragging something large with his teeth. At first, he thought the bear had caught some animal and was bringing his prey home. Running to meet his bear, the ranger was greatly surprised to see that he was carrying an unconscious man. Initially, he was worried, thinking the bear might have attacked the man, but realizing there were no bite or claw marks, only bruises and scratches, the ranger quickly concluded that he had been in an accident. 
He brought the young man into the house, washed him, dressed him in clean, dry clothes, laid him in the bed, bandaged his wounds, and took care of him diligently. The ranger recounted the entire incredible story. At first, the young man couldn't believe that a wild animal had rescued him, but the ranger asked him to look down where he saw a huge bear lying on the floor next to the bed. The bear watched the young man quietly, breathing gently so as not to scare him. Two weeks passed, and the young man recovered quickly. The bear was kind to him, they became great friends and grew deeply attached to each other. When the time came for the young man to leave, the farewell was long and emotional. He left but frequently returned to visit his saviour. This incredible story shows how a bear, saved by a man, returned the kindness by helping another man in need. What do you think of this story? Leave your comment and follow us for more fascinating stories. Until next time.